What's going on guys? It's your boy Crowmance and we are playing Adopt Me. And today is the last day of double XP and double bucks. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. Double XP, double bucks. There has never been faster ways to get your pet up there quicker. So let's go in and see what we got today. Uh, we are going to be a parent. And I want to uh, introduce you. Oh, 13 hours to the next reward. Okay. So I want to introduce you to Clappy. This is Clappy, everyone. Um, he is our main character. A very fun and very nice, mind you, clown. However, he does have an evil side to him that I hope we don't see in this video. Um, he's very scary. He likes to run around and scare little kids and pull pranks. So hopefully we don't see him today. But anyways, I wanted to introduce you to the character and just kind of show you around my house since this is our first video on Adopt Me here. Um, the sign over here says, Welcome to Wiggyland YouTube. Um, Please pay, because it really helps us build new things and be able to show you guys some cool new stuff. Um, I do have one question for you guys. Maybe you can help me out. So this is not actually how you spell Wiggy. Um, it's spelled W-I-G-G-Y. So let me show you. It's kind of like this. So Wiggy Land is actually spelled like this. W-I-G-G-Y and then Land. Um, but for some reason, whenever I go to put that on there, I get nothing but hashtags. So is that something that's in my settings that's wrong? Or is this more of like a Roblox slash adopt me thing that it just doesn't let me show that? Um, I'm not really sure why it's doing that. But yeah, so anyways, that's not, um, I'm gonna leave it on there like how it was actually spelled in the beginning, just so people know that it's me. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm very curious as to, oh, hey, what's up? There's uh, D Wiggies. He is another, um, one of the Wiggyland extraordinaires. Um, super cool outfit, love the outfit there, buddy. But yeah, so if any of you guys know how to um, take the hashtags off or is it just something that is going to always be there for Roblox or Adopt Me, let me know. And yeah, oh, look at him busting out the unicorn already. All right, show off. Anyways, so this is just going to be a quick character introduce and I want to show you my house. So, ooh, I really want those apartments, guys. What do you think? So as you can see, I now have... 10,005. Oh, wow. We just got a sweet donation by Wiggy. So if you guys are on Adopt Me, go give DWiggy's14 a follow. Um, he's obviously super generous and just willing to give out money. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, so what do you guys think about the new apartment? So obviously I started off in the little house, like this one over here, which like we all do, uh, which is good for a very beginning house. Hopefully she or he does not mind us going in here and taking a quick look around. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, they have a builder table, they have a little bathroom, and then they have their bedroom, which is really all you need. However, it's always cool to have more, right? So there's that. Um, so I saved, saved, saved. I was actually going to get one of these storefront um, locations, but then I decided not to. So I ended up just saving up a little bit more and I got the modern mansion. So um, let's go do a tour of this house and then we will um, try to sneak into one of the apartments and see what those look like really quick too. So as we walk in, I have my um, little bench there for people to come help and design. Um, I have a cash register. Definitely appreciate any of the help that you guys are able to provide. Of course you don't have to. Um, and then, so this barrel, the, uh, swords and the wagon wheel that was, it came with the house. So that was kind of cool. And I just kind of left it because I don't know, it just filled up the wall and I like the way that that looks. Um, I want the stars and the cat unicorns and let's see, I guess we could just start here. Here's the bathroom. I did it in Laker colors. 
I upgraded the shower, um, put a nice little bathtub in here, kept the sink, because of course you got to wash your hands, right? Especially with all this stuff going around, always keep your hands clean. Um, I really like the shower because it's super big. As you can see in here, you can like look around and there's just plenty of space to do activities in the shower. <laughs> Anyways, and then we have our, um, I think is what is this, the modern crib or the futuristic crib, something like that as well as the um, the feeders. I love this double feeder, guys, because it just makes everything so convenient. So you have your food and your water all in one spot. And I kind of just made this, I, I put a toilet in here, even though you can't e actually use the toilet, which I don't know, you never know. Oh, hey, look, there's another person joining us. That's cool. Um, yes, but it is a bathroom, so it kind of needs a toilet. Oh, look, there's one of our friends too. Everyone's coming, yay, it's starting to be a party and I didn't even start a party invite yet. Anyway, so that is the kind of the all room that I did um, where you can basically shower, you could sleep, you could eat, you could drink, you could do it all in one room. So let's go check out the um, kind of kitchen slash like living area. Um, and here I decided to go with a lava. Um, oh, thank you for the stick throw toy. I appreciate it. Um, I decided to go with lava and I decided to have uh, some dino wallpaper because I think it goes really well together. I decided to go with a volcano um, food bowl along with the nice waterfall, uh, water, waterfall, <laughs> waterfall, um, water bowl. And this is our couch. Um, I really wanted a red and black couch, but I only seen red and white in the store, so if anyone knows how to get a red and black couch, please let me know in the comments below. Then we got a couple extra seats. As you can see here, we have some guests. Oh, cool. Thank you very much for the balloon. I really appreciate that. We could all sit down. Does everyone ever want to have a seat and like watch some TV or something? No? Oh, we someone's playing some music for us. Okay. All right, well, if any of you guys are thirsty or hungry, please help yourself to whatever you want. So let me show you the rest. So we have our little donut bar right here. We have donuts and we have our donut oven. And if you get thirsty and you're wanting some tea, you could always put, oh, uh, not right now. Um, okay, well, okay, I'll accept it. Yay, so we could all be family. Um, and then you have some tea cups, you have a kettle that you can put on the stove if you get thirsty and want some hot tea. And then we have a refrigerator that you can get water from. As a matter of fact, I'm feeling a little bit thirsty right now from all this talking. So let's have a little bit of water. Uh, okay, a little bit more. Oh, mouse leash. Thank you for the mouse leash, I appreciate it. Um, and then of course, this is like one of my favorite things to have right here. It is the pizza bar. I absolutely love it. You have your dough, you have your sauce. You have your cheese, you have peppers, and of course, pepperoni, baby. And then we have a little table here. Um, thank you for the donation, I appreciate that. And then you have your hide chair here. In case you have a kid, you can bring him over and he will be safely secured in a high chair. Every once in a while I get bored, so I'll play on the piano a little bit. Ding, da 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 Beethoven. All right, that's enough. So before I show you downstairs in the pool room, let's go upstairs real quick and I will show you the kids room slash pet goodnight room. We have a ball pit to play in. We have a little closet. We have a food and a water bowl in case you get hungry at the night. And here we just have a couple of the stock beds that the house comes with. Um, but I did go ahead and go with the cool rainbow scales on the flooring and the rainbow, or I'm sorry, the unicorns on the wallpaper. Um, pretty mild as far as the upgrades in this room, but I, the reason I haven't really upgraded too much of the upstairs yet, oh, we have the, uh, leopard print carpet too, or the cheetah print. Is that cheetah or leopard? Let me know down below. Um. And here's my room, of course, you know, we have to have our laptop and our little Yeti microphone so we can be recording. And of course, he doesn't like the bomb lighting, gotta have that. And then we have a couch where we could all just sit together and we could watch movies. So that's pretty cool. I like to have that. And then I like to have, of course, the spare bedroom in case I have a guest. And this is my bed, which is, of course, the magic bed, baby, because that's where the magic happens. All right, so let me take you downstairs really quick and we will check out the pool room. 
got a couple of posters on the wall of the you know some of the different uh, Roblox games that are out there. I think that's really cool. This actually came with the house, and uh, I just wanted to leave it because I think it looks cool. So let's go down. So here we have I put a bunch of barriers so no one falls and gets hurt, but I did leave one little opening to still have some fun. Woo! So kind of the one thing I don't like about this house, uh, well, as far as like the pool, is how shallow it is. Because while it is like big and you could have kind of a, a decent little party in here, you can't like really be diving. Because if you really do dive from up there, you might hurt your head jumping in there. So kind of another reason I'm thinking about upgrading the house. Um, yeah, we'll talk more about that in a little bit. but. Um, these couches and the table and the carpet, this all came with the um, with the house and I just left it in there because I think it goes really good down here with the pool room. And of course I have to have the comic wallpaper, I love that. And then so this is like the whole party area of the house. Of course we have the dance floor, you know, gotta have my dance moves in. Oh yeah, get down, look at him, look at him do his thing. Alright, 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 Clappy's doing his thing. So we have that, and of course, you know, we gotta have the DJ set with the monitor. That is a must for any pool area slash party room. So we have the DJ set along with the DJ pack that allows us to basically choose whatever song we want um, because the stock um, songs that you get with the uh, normal DJ setup is not great. Um, so yeah, I just wanted a bigger selection, so yeah, I did decide to buy those. So yeah, that's kind of it. Um, but now the main reason really for the video after the house tour is kind of done is I want to show you how quickly um, you're actually able to gain on this double XP. So yesterday I was able to grow this rat and this rat from a newborn to fully grown and this guy all the way up to a post teen. So I basically almost did three complete rats and I'll use this little mouse leash that they gave me. Thank you very much for that. I was almost able to grow three full rats in one day, which is super hard if you're not in double XP weekend guys. So let's exit out because there's starting to be a lot of people in the house. Thank you for the dog leash. I appreciate it. Um, I think we'll stick with the mouse leash for now since we have our mouse out. So let's walk around and just go kind of like walk around. Um, I think a lot of the people know me as the little non-scary clown right now. But like I said, Clappy does have an evil side to him. And he likes to, like I said, kind of like scare little kids and do pranks on people. Um, Clappy as a good guy is more so just, oh here, let's buy lemonade from them. Oh, look at him in his nice green car. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's take a little walk around. What do you guys think about this spring collection? Um, I kind of think that it would be cool to get this bug car um, for my clown, because I think that clowns do drive in these type of cars, which is kind of funny. Um, I don't know, L let's think about it, because I am really wanting to save up for well, I have enough now for an apartment. What do you guys think? Should I get an apartment or should I go with the Millionaire Mansion? That's what I'm really torn because I like the how many rooms you have in the apartment, but it's going to take forever to get that like really decorated and looking good. As to where if I do the Millionaire Mansion, I'll have a little bit more space than I have now and I'll be able to decorate a little bit more and it'll be actually easier to decorate. So let me know down below what you think would be better. But yeah, so anyways... I really like this bug. I think that it's a cool car. I, I would really like to have this like big sunflower and just put it right in the middle of my house. I think that'd be cool to be able to do. Robux, you should definitely do that. Um, so this is the Daisy Unicycle, which is for 500. It's all right. You have the Dandelion Propeller, which is 1750. Um, I already have some propellers, so I'm not going to be buying that more than likely. We have a sunflower rattle, we have a flower frisbee, and a lavender set, I believe. Lavender bundle, yeah. And then this is, of course, the spring um, flower stroller. So that's also pretty cool. I've seen a lot of people pushing that around. But yeah, so what I wanted to do is I'm hoping some 
challenges will come up so I can show you how much quicker it is to be leveling up and getting money during this double XP weekend. Guys, before this weekend started, I think I had somewhere like around five or six thousand dollars maybe and I'm now as you guys can see almost up to eleven thousand dollars and I really did not play that long at all and I was able to get two rats fully grown and speaking of where is Thicky Nicky where, where, where's where's our rat what is he doing let's get him back to us there we go yeah so and then this little guy here I was able to get him to a post teen so two fully growns and a post teen, which is really cool. Um, I'm hoping a challenge will come up soon, guys, so I can show you the how much quicker it is to grow pets on double XP. So if things don't come up here shortly, guys, I will do a quick fast forward to show you some challenges, okay? All right, guys, welcome back. So it literally took so long for even the first challenge to appear and it's a sleep challenge. So we are gonna start walking um, to the school. Normally I would just get in a car and drive or teleport somewhere or use my grappling gun. But for the sake of hopefully trying to get more challenges done so I can show you guys how quickly you're actually able to upgrade, um, we'll just walk over to the, we'll go to the school and because they have food, they have water, and of course, beds. All right, so let's get in the school. We'll call this night school. Um, also guys, another thing that I normally do, like when I normally start the game, is I'll come in here to this room in the school and I'll just take like a handful of these apples, like five to 10 or whatever. That way when I'm walking around and any of my pets get hungry, they can um, just have one of these apples to eat and I don't have to go anywhere or stop what I'm doing so they can go neat and, and not be hungry anymore. So let's get Rat going in there. And I want you guys to just pay attention to the, um, the status bar here where it shows you how much you're gaining. So take a peek, it's about done. Did you see how much that gained as a post teen? That is like, literally crazy wait where are we sleepy again hold on a second we need to shower I know that um, oh someone else in our family is sleepy okay well rat right now you just slept so here's what we're gonna do let us go to who is sleepy right now? The rat is sleepy again? Are you seriously tired? You just took a nap, dude. All right, let's go. Let's sleep one more time. Yep, he was. He actually really was sleepy again. Whoa, that's really weird. It like didn't show, it didn't show any status change for him. Okay. Okay, so that's how much you're getting right now in the double XP as well as $14 instead of seven. So if you guys are trying to level your pets up like I am, so this is now the third rat that I have and then I'm gonna do one more today to get him to be a neon uh, rat because I don't have one of those yet. Oh, she's saying hi, let's say hi back. Hi. All right, uh, okay, trade requests. I only have my rat out. A fly rat, uh, well, uh, 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 how about a, how about a wolf? I'm sure she's not gonna accept that, but it's okay. We have enough rats anyway. But for the sake of this, let's accept it. Um, uh, pretty sure, uh, buffalo. Okay, eh, okay, sure. I'll take your buffalo. There you go. Do you wanna do it or not? Uh, no? Uh, no? Uh, oh, well, it's at least it's time for school, so we're not wasting a whole bunch of stuff. 
Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and decline it then, because I guess you don't want that. Thank you for the offer though, I do appreciate it. And then after this, we will go to the house and we will take a quick shower because we're a little bit stinky right now. But I want to show you guys again. So now that it's double XP weekend, you're seeing right here the um, the status of your rat right here or your pet. So school is almost done. And I want to show you guys how much you're actually getting during this double XP weekend. It's pretty significant in comparison to the non double XP. Thank you for the newspaper chew toy. I appreciate it. Boom, so we just finished. That's a pretty significant jump. I know it doesn't look like a whole lot. So let me say thank you for that real quick. Thank you. Okay, let's hide that chat. All right, so let us go to the um, house real quick. We'll take a quick shower. We're just gonna teleport there so you guys don't have to sit around watching all that boring walking stuff. All right, we're back home. Let's take a quick shower. You want to take a shower or do you want to take a bath? Bath? Okay. So let us get in there. You are taking a little bath. Oh, now you're thirsty. Okay. I got you. So again, look at this. Boom. Those are significant jumps, guys, as far as um, how much you're actually getting status-wise. That is significant in comparison to non double XP. Obviously it's double, but I mean, it really is very, very quick to be able to grow your pet twice as fast. That is amazing, especially when you're trying to make them into neons. Cause of course, you know, you need four adult pets of the same kind in order to make them a neon. Oh, you're thirsty again. Oh my gosh. Okay. But anyways, guys, I think you guys are getting the point. This is double XP weekend, double money weekend. So if you're trying to save up for an apartment like I am, which I have enough now, so still deciding if I want to do it because I do love my house right now and it kind of took a long time to get it to where it is now. Um, let me know if you think I should go with the apartment, millionaire mansion, or keep my house. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, if you could like, share, and subscribe our videos, that would be awesome because it definitely helps our channel out. It helps us make new content cheap for you guys. And yeah, I think that will wrap us up for the video today. I'm very glad that we didn't run into Clappy's other side today, his evil side. Um, maybe we'll see that in the next video. I don't know. It doesn't come out too often, but when it does, it is a little bit scary. All right, guys, this is Crowman signing out. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.